the more you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more you take Allah's name, you mention Allah's name, the more barakah will enter into your life. In one narration, the Prophet he mentions, every important matter in which you do not begin with Bismillah, you don't begin in the name of Allah, it is cut off. And the scholars, they say, cut off from what? Cut off from barakah, from blessings. Meaning if there's anything important that you're about to do and you don't take Allah's name before you do that thing, Allah will cut that thing off from blessings. So, for example, the Prophet ﷺ, he mentions, he gives the example of someone who leaves their home and says, Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, in the name of Allah, I take the name of God and I place my reliance in Him. The Prophet ﷺ mentions that this person will be blessed that day to the extent that the shayateen, the devils, they will refrain from this person. They will turn away from this person. You'll be protected that day. You'll be blessed that day. There's another very interesting narration. The Prophet ﷺ, he says that if a person says Bismillah or mentions the name of Allah before they eat, Eat, and before they enter their home, Shaitan tells his followers, Today you have no meal, you have no dinner to eat, and today you have no place to stay in. Whereas, if a person fails to mention the name of Allah, the Prophet says that the Shaitan says to his followers, Today you have food to eat, and today you have a place to stay in. What is that telling us? It means that just by neglecting the simple act of mentioning Allah's name when you enter the home, as an example, your home is at risk of losing its blessings. You know, sometimes we're thinking, you know, we go through these periods at home, we're like, I don't feel the barakah in the home. There's problems happening. You know, you were asking why the problems for. Sometimes we're neglecting the most basic things. We're not remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we enter the home. And what does that do when you have shaitan in the home? Who will not enter the home when shaitan is there? The angels, the malaika. We want to attract the angels because the more angels are present within our homes, the more blessings descend. If your home is devoid of angels, that means shaitan is there. Where angels are present, shaitan is absent. Think of it this way. How can I attract more divine presence in my home? Even a meal, subhanAllah, that you eat. Now, what does it mean if shaitan says to his followers, okay, we have a meal to eat today. Does that mean that uh, the plate in front of you is going to disappear? No, it's not literal that shaitan is going to eat your food, but the shayateen will eat away at the blessings, the barakah in your food. So I'm sure everyone has been in this situation, including myself, where you've eaten and you've eaten and you've eaten and we say, could still have a little bit more. I'm not full yet. Let me have some dessert. You're not satisfied. One potential reason for that could be there's no barakah in your food. But subhanAllah, have you also had the experience which I also have had, which is sometimes you say Bismillah, you're grateful for the food that you have and you eat a little bit and you're just full immediately. You think you're going to eat a lot, but Allah blesses that food. So from that small quantity, small amount of food, there's abundance of blessings that come from it. This is what barakah is. Mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you can. It reminds me of a story. This story, by the way, is not a hadith. It's a story that one of our teachers told us of a woman, a righteous woman who was always in the habit of mentioning Allah's name. And this woman happened to be one of the servants of a king. So she used to live in the palace of the king. She would prepare the meals, cook the meals and so on. The other people, the other staff in the palace, they realized something about this woman. And that is that every time she would say something, you know, when she enters her room, when she goes outside, before she starts cooking, everything she does, she says, Bismillah, Bismillah. She always mentions Allah's name. Now these people were not righteous people. So they reported her to the king. They told the king that there's this lady, there's this woman, and she's always mentioning God's name. So the king said, okay, I want to punish her. Find me something that is valuable to her and we'll find a way to punish her, teach her a lesson. So they realized that this lady, this righteous lady, she had a ring that she kept in her room and it was of sentimental value because this ring belonged to her late husband and she always kept this ring and she really cherished this one ring. So when the guards found out, they went to the king and they said, look, she's got a ring and you know, this is the most prized asset to her. So the king said, bring the ring to me. And they brought the ring to the king and the king then ordered his men to go to the river and just toss the ring, throw the ring into the river, get rid of it entirely. So they did that. They went to the river and they threw this ring into the river and the lady, the righteous lady, she found out. She was upset, but she continued. It did not deter her from mentioning Allah's name. So she continued every time she cooked, she prayed, she went outside, she came inside, she kept saying Bismillah, mentioning Allah's name. After some time, what happened SubhanAllah is one day she's in the kitchen and she's about to prepare the meal for the king for that day. And it just so happened that the king desired to have seafood that day. So they brought her a fish and said, here you go, prepare this fish for the king. And as per her usual habit, before she cuts the fish, she says, Bismillah, and she cuts it open. And what does she find inside the fish? Her ring. 
the fish happened to be in that same river and happened to swallow the ring and it got stuck inside the fish. So this lady, she says, Bismillah, and she finds the ring. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returned it back to her. Allah honored her for doing a simple thing, which is just mentioning Bismillah, mentioning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name. Be in a habit of saying Bismillah wherever you are. This will attract Allah's blessings. Allah's blessings will come your way before you eat in your meal, when you come home in your home, before you travel in your travel, in your journey. Allah will bless it. 